Welcome to the brand new video, in this video, we will discuss about Montenegro, which you people generally don't know. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, so you can keep up to date with all our latest content. Montenegro is a country located in Southeast Europe on the Adriatic Sea. Its capital and largest city is Pagorica, a. The official language is Montenegrin, which is closely related to Serbian, Croatian, and Bosnian. The currency used is the euro, even though Montenegro is not a member of the eurozone. Montenegro has an area of approximately 13,812 square kilometers. The country is known for its stunning Adriatic coastline and mountainous terrain. Montenegro is bordered by Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Kosovo, and Albania. The flag of Montenegro features a red background with a golden border and the national coat of arms. Montenegro has a long history of being a part of various empires and kingdoms, including the Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman empires. It was part of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia from 1918 until its dissolution in 1992. Montenegro became part of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia after the breakup of Yugoslavia. Montenegro declared its independence from Serbia on June 3, 2006, following a referendum. Montenegro has a population of approximately 620,000 people. The majority of the population is ethnic Montenegrin, with significant Serbian, Bosniak, Albanian, and Croatian minorities. The official language is Montenegrin, but Serbian is also widely spoken. The majority of the population adheres to Eastern Orthodoxy, with a notable Muslim minority and a small Catholic community. The country has a relatively low population density. Montenegro is a parliamentary republic. The president is the head of state, while the prime minister is the head of government. The current president is Jakov Miladovic, and the prime minister is Dritan Abazovic, as of 2024. Montenegro's parliament is known as the Assembly of Montenegro and consists of 81 members. The country is a member of various international organizations, including the United Nations and NATO. Montenegro has a mixed economy with a focus on services, tourism, and industry. Tourism is a significant sector, with visitors attracted to the country's coastal resorts and natural beauty. The country has a developing financial sector and a growing real estate market. Montenegro's economy also relies on agriculture, including the production of olives, grapes, and tobacco. The country is working on diversifying its economy and reducing reliance on tourism. Montenegrin culture is a blend of Slavic, Mediterranean, and Ottoman influences. Traditional music includes folk songs and performances often accompanied by traditional instruments. Montenegrin cuisine features dishes such as, smoked ham, and, sarma. The country celebrates various festivals, including the Kotor Carnival and the Hersig Novi Summer Festival. Montenegrins value hospitality and family traditions. Kotor, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is known for its well-preserved medieval architecture and scenic bay. The Bay of Kotor offers stunning views and is a popular destination for boating and sightseeing. The Dermeter National Park is renowned for its mountainous landscapes and outdoor activities such as hiking and skiing. The town of Budva is famous for its beaches, historic old town, and vibrant nightlife. The Ostrog Monastery, built into a cliff, is an important pilgrimage site and a notable architectural marvel. The Terra River Canyon is one of the deepest canyons in Europe and a popular spot for white water rafting. Montenegro is known for its diverse natural landscapes, including mountains, lakes, and a pristine coastline. The country has several national parks and protected areas to conserve its natural beauty. The country's climate varies from Mediterranean on the coast to continental in the interior. Montenegro is committed to environmental conservation and sustainable tourism practices. Montenegro has made significant progress in infrastructure development, including road networks and transportation. The country has invested in improving its tourism infrastructure, including hotels, resorts, and recreational facilities. Montenegro is working on enhancing its digital infrastructure and connectivity. The government has undertaken efforts to attract foreign investment and improve the business environment. Montenegro has a well-established education system, with compulsory education up to the age of 15. The University of Montenegro is the largest and oldest institution of higher education in the country. 
The country places importance on research and development, particularly in fields related to tourism and environmental studies. Montenegro has a healthcare system that provides both public and private medical services. The country has made strides in improving healthcare access and quality. Public health services are subsidized by the government, while private healthcare options are also available. The country is known for its high level of safety and low crime rate. Montenegro does not have a standing army and relies on NATO for defense. The country is a popular destination for outdoor activities such as hiking, skiing, and water sports. The Montenegrin legal system is based on civil law principles. Montenegro has a rich tradition of craftsmanship, including woodwork and embroidery. The country is known for its warm hospitality and friendly people. Montenegro has a growing film industry, with several local productions gaining recognition. The country's diverse landscapes make it an ideal location for ecotourism. Montenegro's economy benefits from its strategic location along major trade routes. The country has a tradition of producing high-quality wines and brandies. Montenegro's unique blend of cultural influences makes it a fascinating destination for travelers. The country has a small but vibrant arts scene, including theater, music, and visual arts. Montenegro's public transportation system includes buses and ferries connecting major cities and towns. The country is known for its beautiful and unspoiled natural environments. Montenegro has a tradition of celebrating its rich cultural heritage through various events and festivals. The country's cuisine reflects its diverse cultural influences, with a focus on fresh, locally sourced ingredients. Montenegro is an important player in regional cooperation and development within Southeast Europe. The country's scenic beauty has made it a popular location for international film and television productions. Montenegro's historical sites offer insights into its rich and varied past. The country is making efforts to improve its environmental sustainability and reduce its carbon footprint. Montenegro has a small but growing tech sector. With an emphasis on digital innovation, the country's warm Mediterranean climate makes it an attractive destination year-round. Montenegro is known for its picturesque towns and villages, each with its own unique charm. The country's natural resources include minerals, forests, and water, contributing to its economic development. Montenegro's government is focused on modernizing infrastructure and improving public services. The country's unique geography offers opportunities for a wide range of recreational activities. Montenegro's strategic location between Eastern and Western Europe adds to its geopolitical significance. If you like the video, we'll share it with your friends and family members on WhatsApp and Facebook wall. I encourage you to like this video too or did you know that you will meet your friends through the video till then.